MMA Fight Corner. The Tough 18 season, it's really captivating a lot of audience imagination across the country. Very unique because of the Misha Tate, Ronda Rousey uh, being the two coaches. Right now, we're lucky enough to have Juliana Pena online with us. Juliana, thanks for joining the MMA Fight Corner. How are you? Good. How are you guys doing? Well, we're doing fantastic. Uh, great day out here in Las Vegas and, and really appreciate you taking the time uh, to join us. You've got Heidi, Phil, and Joey with us. Heidi, let, let's start with you because I know that you've been looking forward to talking to Juliana. Yes, I have because it has been such a long time coming and I'm sure you'll agree with me, Juliana, that women are finally being brought into this fold. Uh, the UFC has them featured on Tough. How much does it mean to you to have this opportunity? Uh, it means the world to me. I think that uh, this was such a great opportunity uh, to be a part of the Tough 18 season. I am so ecstatic that I got the chance to, to be a part of history. And uh, I think that the season is so great. And uh, I'm, I'm finally um, able to say that women are in the UFC and we're here to stay. We're not going anywhere. And it's just such a blessing that we, we are getting recognized uh, for all the hard work that we've been putting in for all the years that we've been doing this. Now, you say about all the hard years and everything, uh, the training and the stuff that you women have gone through. Misha, you trained with her. She was a training partner of yours back in Washington, and she made you the number one overall pick of this season. Uh, tell me a little bit about working with Misha and how excited that you were for her to have taken you first overall. Yeah, uh, seeing Misha, you know, uh, Right next to Rhonda when, when Dana called us all in to explain the situation was just, I had a smile from ear to ear. I was so ecstatic that she was going to be there and, and to be coaching, uh, to get picked first and to be on her team was such a blessing. And, uh, I was just ecstatic over the moon. You know, I, uh, I was, I was very, um, I, I don't know what the word is, uh, it was very, it was an honor, I guess you could say, to be picked first and, and to be on her team like that. And I was just, I, I wanted to do everything in my power to, to represent our team well. Uh, in this week's episode that's coming up Wednesday night, Fox Sports 1, 10 p.m. Eastern, it begins. Uh, you take on a warrior, somebody who's really established her name in Shayna Baszler. She has a ton of experience. I mean, I know a lot of the other women on that uh, first episode, they were really looking up to her, uh, talking about what a hero she's been to the sport. Without giving anything away, how much pressure was there on you to impress in this fight? Um, I think that there was a ton of pressure. You know, when, when you're fighting a girl that you used to get, you know, autographed from, and uh, pictures from, I think that there's a, a, there's definitely some pressure there, especially being number one pick. You know, you want to perform well and do well for Dana. And so I think that the pressure was, was definitely there, and I definitely felt, you know, that on my shoulders. And so it was, it was, uh, it was nerve-wracking, to say the least. Um, without again giving away <laughs> too much because it's, you don't want to, you know, get in trouble or yeah, this you is don't want, there's no, this is a television show. There is here, no spoilers, spoil but, um, you know, what was the mentality in the house? Was it tough being in there with all the guys and the girls at the same time? Wait, 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 wait. Phil, um, Phil, hold on. I'm sorry to interrupt here. Phil, why don't you ask what you really want? I don't to want, ask? I don't want no, to know. What Phil really wants to ask is we know fighting can be in a grind, but living in a house with a bunch of guys and girls, we want to know if there's any bumping and grinding going oh. on. <laughs> no, none, none of that was going on. You know, there were some flirtatious moments and stuff like that with some of the cast members. But for the most part, I, I believe that all the women there uh, were there to be taken seriously and, and nobody was there looking for a boyfriend or anything like that. We came to, to do business and show why we deserve to be fighting in the UFC. And uh, I know that that was my personal goal. And, uh, yeah, definitely there was no, no bumping and grinding on, on my part. Um, and I, I definitely don't think that, uh, that would be something that I was interested in. You know, I came there with a specific goal in mind and, and looking for a boyfriend was not one of them. Now, uh, exactly for you, you know, you finish the season, you go home. What's the last couple of weeks or, and actually it's been about a month or two, right? Uh, since you finished, how, how, uh, how's everything been at home with training? Um, Training, training's been great. I've been, I've been training and, uh, you know, I'm just happy to be back with my, my team, Sick Jitsu. And, 
yeah, I'm just, I'm, I, I love getting back to life. I'm, I'm working all the time. I'm training all the time. And, uh, you know, I'm just, I'm just soaking everything in. So it's, it's good to be back home. Now you're, you're from, and now Sick Jitsu, that's guys like, um, Michael Chiesa. Yeah, Michael Chiesa and, and quite a few UFC fighters. Um, how much, help have they been guy people that have been in this spot before obviously not a woman but people who've been in the big show before how much uh of mental help has that been uh it's, it's been a great mental help um sam cecilia was helping me get ready with some takedowns before i took off and uh those those really helped me in the house um during training and and stuff uh mike kiesa wrote a list for me of things that i needed to to do um, while I was on the show and I read those back to myself probably once a week, you know, just rewrite, rereading, you know, what he had told me, um, you know, it, it really helps to know that, you know, my team has my back and that they're supportive of me 110%. I think that that's all you can ask for of your team. And when you get that kind of, um, respect and, 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 and love and support from your team, then that means the world to me. And, um, it just really helped my mental, especially because they're like, you know, we knew you could do it, Julie. The thing, we knew you were going to, you know, um, do it. But the thing that was great is that the thing that was annoying with us is that you didn't know it, you know, and we all knew it. So now that you know it, now you can be, you know, on our level, you know, because we already knew what was up. So I was like, thanks, guys. <laughs> yeah, sometimes you just need that that extra vote of confidence to make yourself go out there and perform better. And I, I completely understand that. Um, what That's about, right. what about your personal life? Like, do you have a job? Do, do you have a full-time job right now? I do. Um, I'm a server and, uh, I work at a sports bar with like a bunch of huge plasma TVs all over the place. And I get to watch as much UFC as I want and as much football as I want. That's I, I awesome. love my job. That's fantastic. Yeah. Let me ask you something, Juliana, uh, with, you know, you were talking about confidence and people being able to tell you that you can do it. And Heidi touched on this a bit earlier, but you're in a fairly uncharted territory with the UFC and the really the introduction of mixed martial arts women fighters at a top level. Can you see a place in 10, 15 years where women fighting in the UFC will be a multi-divisional thing? It'll be in, in multi-promotions, something that is just as commonplace as the men's fighting. Absolutely. I think that, the, you know, at first Dana was saying no women and, and we were all sitting back being like, he'll change his mind. And then they made a 135 pound weight class and I, we're all sitting back being like, there's going to be more weight classes. There's going to be more weight classes. I think that it's only going to get bigger and that um, the weight classes are only going to open up. You know, I see a, a 115 or division in in the future. You know, I see... I see a lot of weight classes opening up for the women, and and, and rightfully so, you know. Um, uh, well, absolutely. We deserve to have as many champions and weight classes as the guys. You know, there should be there should be a champ for for every weight class as ma as many weight classes as there is for the guys. There should be a weight class for the girls too. So, well, they're all exciting I, I fights. See that in the future. Yeah, exactly. I definitely see that in the future. Absolutely. Uh, Juliana, I gotta say, I love your nickname, the Venezuelan Vixen. <laughs> it's really very yeah. creative. Um, I was curious, you know, when did you exactly start training MMA? Because I think if I'm not mistaken that on the show, when they were giving a bit of information and background about each person, you had said that a lot of people told you that you should be a model. I don't know. I said model, lawyer, doctor, you know, I, I was, I was naming a lot of things. Everyone just sticks with the model thing. And I meant ah. to say plus size model, by the way, not like some like 110 pound model. No way. Um, but, <laughs> uh, yeah, I started in, uh, I started doing the cardio kickboxing at, at Sik Jitsu in, uh, October of, uh, 08. And I took my first MMA fight, um, in April of 09. So it was about six months I had been uh, doing some MMA training that I took my first amateur fight. And, um, yeah, that's that's when it all started, and uh, I, I haven't looked back ever since. That's awesome. Now, <clears throat> you talked about Shayna earlier, you know, about the fact that you guys are fighting tomorrow night on the show, but that you used to get autographs for her as a kid. Anybody else that you looked up to in the sport? Uh, yeah, absolutely. I think Misha Tate has been, um, a great role model. Um, 
I love Gina Carano. Um, I I always loved her fighting style. I think she hits like a like a, a Mack truck. Um, you know, I. I, I love I, I love and respect all women fighters. Let's put it that way. You know, if you're a woman and you're getting locked in the cage and doing the damn thing, then you know you got my vote. So go well, on ahead, I support, girl. All, I support all. I support all women fighters. Well, Juliet, I was going to say love them all. that's a that's a great note to end on here because we've got to hit a hard break here. Uh, thanks so much for joining us today on the MMA Fight Corner. Best of luck. We will stay in suspense here uh, watching Tough 18. Of course, that's coming up just a little bit later on tonight. So thanks again uh, so much for joining us today, and uh, we'll hope to talk to you soon. All right. Thank you guys so much for having me. I appreciate it. All right. Thanks, Julietta.